and tasers on full charge. Sorry, there's no way to get up to the raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. Hobbit, it's me, Mr. DNA, and I'm here to help you. Start it with your stun rod. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. Eee. Cage trap. I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. So, do you know what to do if the raptor escapes? Yeah, Muldoon says to get up somewhere high so it can't reach you and only use our weapons as a last resort. Oh, so there's a proper. How does this panel work again? Do I have to put in my zip code? Maybe it's my social security number. Wait, it's my mom's age and dog ears, isn't it? Uh, I'm just gonna try random numbers. Pushing team, move in there. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's always a pleasure to be of assistance. Step away! Cage ladder's jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't figure that panel out at all. One of the other dig sites has turned up something. Oh, I can feel it. There's a raptor right under here. Uh, all I keep. Yep. I am bang on target. I just gotta keep digging for a couple of more minutes. <sighs> One day I forget to bring scissors. Remember, Dr. Settler and Grant want us to be especially careful in digging up this fossil. I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. Mm-hmm. 
Bit of advice that might help. Just a little further. Oh, come on, it was there. I was so close. I want partial credit for that thing. Basically mine. something sharp around here I can use. By the time I get this thing out, a <laughs> jackhammer? Come on, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Ooh, uh, that might need some assembly. Six inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Grant, Dr. Ellie, we're ready to try again. I had computers. Feelings mutual.
I give up. You give it a try. Uh, be careful. That rope's holding up, uh, some, you know, uh, oh, no, what's it called? Uh, no, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh, no, hang on. Hang on, I'll get in a second. Delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> found a perfectly preserved Compsognathus thigh! Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. Okay, I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. Stop it from leaning over and going around in circles all the time. It looks like the picture in the instructions. You shoot the radar into the ground and the bone bounces the image back. This program is incredible. Two more years, we won't have to dig anymore. It's fun and bad. Looks like a six foot turkey.
Who do you think you are? Ah. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaur? <laughs> well, try to. <laughs> you have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. <laughs>